Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of ABG News. Only see the son of Nube is my name. And I'm here to talk not about migration, not about politics, but a very touching incident, which I believe some of you have already come across, especially on social media, because it hasn't been that much reported uh, in the mainstream media. Uh, this is the issue or the matter involving uh, a double tragedy where two members of the same family, twins for that matter, were murdered, they were fatally shot in Beria, that is Johannesburg. This incident happened just a few days ago. So what happened is that uh, there was a domestic dispute between a man and his wife, who is one of the twins that were later murdered. Uh, so in the process of trying to find a solution, uh, in the process of trying to find a solution, there were six people, four of, of them members of the same family, that is the Shaw family. There were two brothers and these two twin sisters, and then the elder brother, or let me say, the eldest brother had his wife in, in, in attendance, and then the husband to one of the twins, who later on killed the two and killed himself, was also in attendance. So I won't go into the nitty gritties of this, but what happened is that the negotiations, let me say, went sour on the part of the husband because the wife said that she had had enough of abuse and there was no way that she could continue in the marriage and this man then threw out his gun he shot the twins tried to wipe out the whole family but because god didn't want the other members of the family to die in this brutal manner the gun jammed so when it jammed this man chased after his uh, brother-in-law's wife, tried to kill her, but it failed. Then when he came back, he tried again to kill the brother-in-law, but again the gun jammed until he went to lock himself up somewhere in the same flat and killed himself. So this is what actually happened. We don't want, as I've said, to go into the nitty gritties of what rose, or of how the dispute arose. I've seen on social media people accusing the woman of uh, having an extramarital affair and all the other stuff. But this is not a reason for one to take another's life. And even to kill the twin and try to wipe up, out the whole family. So this speaks to not only femicide, but the violent crimes that we are experiencing on, on an almost daily basis. Uh, this is a cause for concern. This is a serious matter which demands self-introspection, especially on the part of us men. Because uh, in the long run, or in the majority of these cases, we are the ones who are found wanting. We are the ones who end up killing people. We are the ones who end up killing our girlfriends or our wives. So at the end of the day, we need to have this dialogue as men. But uh, again, this will be a topic for another day. Uh, the main pressing issue is that the Joe family, because as you would know, uh, nobody prepares for death, let alone a double tragedy of two twin sisters dying in the same place at the same time and in the same manner which is very brutal so the family is asking for your assistance in terms of um, helping them repatriate the two bodies to Zimbabwe they are from Ndaba Zinduna they are in Johannesburg. They are saying a lot has been done already, but the main problem they are having now is the problem of transport. Their transport money uh, is not enough to repatriate the two bodies. So this is an appeal. I'm going to post a, a full video of an interview that was carried out by one of uh, our Zimbabwean journalists 
who are based here in South Africa. His name is Tuso Kumalo and he works for Matt TV Live. So he agreed that we should use the allowed as use of his video so that this appeal by the Zhou family reaches out far and wide. So I'm going to attach this video uh, soon after this but before uh, I leave you watching it, let me emphasize again that killing someone is never the answer. Now these uh, two sisters left behind three children each. So which means that six children I have been left motherless. And now the other sister uh, who was killed by the husband uh, now left behind orphans because this husband uh, has also died, which means there are children that have been orphaned. And now you will remember, I mean, you can imagine uh, how these children would be viewed. At one moment, your mother died. The other moment, your father killed. So at the end of the day, this raises stigma in the minds of the children. It gives this... Uh, an inexplicable situation to the child. An innocent child has been left motherless and fatherless. So at the end of the day, these are the things that we need to consider before we engage in violence because violence is never the answer. Gender-based violence is never the answer. Issues have to be discussed. And wherever there is a deadlock, you ask for a mediator to assist and whenever mediation fails there is no way there's no reason why you should not part ways because you met when you're already old why not part ways without having to kill each other without having to attack each other let us look deep into ourselves and it begins with the individual why would i go out and do that and there are people on social media who are even uh expressing i mean happiness at this they are accusing the woman of doing this or that they are saying she should have been killed others are saying the whole family should have been wiped out are you normal when you say those kinds of things let us look deep into ourselves and instead of uh continuing to inflame these situations let us try to resolve them because gender-based violence and femicide are cases on the rise Yet these are cases that we should all be uniting towards ending. Thank you very much. I'll leave you watching the video. But as I say, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Hey, Dinjani Slobozan. Minaika Mamufarai Jo. Sivelelu, lutu polu, kulu kulu, chiwe, abota tewe tu ababili. Ba shone ngeskate sifanayo. Besi siba i six, mina unko siga zwami. La yuspare, la abota tewe tu ama twin sisters lao. Lom na wamistri no ufrete, mshu uko na samu ilana. Ndeni, ngati astanda zeni. Then it's a tandas. So I'm going to go to tandas. Not soon a cool maga spare. Soon a cool maga spare. He looks in in the bag. Then he nabache la bongo gutu spare na kete. He looks in unko se azwa kuzo kuluma. U twin sister kulume. Then um na wa me kulume unko se azwa me kulume mna zote ne lugu kulume. So wa be kuluma inu spare i problem i puta ababe shanga na dalo enzimdana. So mina ime nga kini layo nga fuli paitili ya mga kala nga fula kuu nga fula kuu kuchon chapter 10 verse 10 Mba chelo kuti sela nipu kuchon kuchon chalo kupilisa kuchon chalo kupilala nipu kupilisa Nga fula futi the book of lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 Euti okoko betu abaseko Nga nikasi nga nikasi sanji so ni saku lo malapana o tatewe tu abe seta ipo tu kati skat u u westi skat sa kwa mimi ndo tangu sai phone mwa bei sisi ndogo mese for a long time ni saku lo malapano uspari wa suguma 
Lolaga. What's your keep his palm? Go westy lap. A keep his palm, go westy lap. What's your see coke? I'm sorry, some for the one who Wabona lo uya nyigi nye kukanyu ya pilo wa mpintu shamfolo istu Wabuye lia ngolaga wa shayu tatu wetu um twin sister lo shamfolo istu Eketu kushayu um twin sister wake wabe komba gulo kuzi mkunko sikas wane So lapo wache makoni spam waza mungu sikoka sisala Mungu sikas wate waeka na ewa kichi ma mina logu na manja nga nga sena logu nchese sofe nila pana then uh back each missa ne core to la by back each missa ne core to la wabue long cos gas one pata gang uh kakona ngumbam was on night on munu mamma shala kona petu ze malo and wava la baba se to the baby salu tang and entine sipias bladis. Then he was on night on munu mamma kupuga mama steps. Muyo an kambo and fish engineer. So ba lame babe tabam go to mepi sing to me. Ni se se pendo la pana ngapi mkuu kwa nchi ngamato long paga misi zanga zanu ngat ais baru ngai nzinga watu ngang kanya ilpegale la la pana ngapi ni se nzanga ngoba ai kolume loge pizza zamu kuki spamle sana sa so wabe zola gei mesi ya elogzen e paukon e mofali so mesi ya lenga ngapi ngotin uzamu gei spose la pana ngobi spamsa sana sa sebens why logu ni muzo ni lele pana ni muzo ais pamu logo zamu gus koka. Is valuable is key. This ah, oh, such as we talk about security, you are we are police police. So look, some of us go to police and all of a certain years was a scale. Why is it too little? Can so me and Zang in Paga Missy can now be looking little. Now the focus is I'm a police as a boy. Looking little, the man time as a former police and get now one to you can get now one boss even get another fan. In Ghana, I'm a third pony. You have a young Paramisa Pansy and Chalices of the mobile power. I can say, This is a Sugasia by picking a car as Babbin Dabas in the Bonka Bukamba, I say, or put into a short tie over Mansi. He transported I in the Lama Jalo, uh, who she is in Tandan, uh, who she is in Tandan, only with that way to love for the Lenganis that only Lenganis that. So about from Bumeta. The nineteen double zero six one nine five three two three ninety six Yabo in the Jalo in a number zero six one nine five three two three ninety six.